Hey awesome people, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. This is Gazes here and here we are in the mission editor in my mission called Anapa or Bust. Now I've opened it up in the mission editor because I just want to show you, it's easier to explain this way. Um, I had to, um, roughly the, the inner workings of this mission and what you've got to do, okay, to get a mission complete, mission success. Okay, so you depart, this is the beautiful Caucasus map by the way, so you depart Kalenzik into the morning um, okay, you head over here to waypoint 2, waypoint 1 obviously first, waypoint 2, you'll engage a flanker. Climb to about 26, 27,000 feet, oh, man, no, forget that, climb to 28, 29,000 feet. And that way the SA-6 launcher won't give you as much trouble, alright, the SAM, which is at um, Anna Bay Air Force Base. Okay, but first things first, engage your um, SU-33 flanker, he'll come in from this direction, you'll kill him. After you splash him, you come down to waypoint 5, where you should take out an SA-6 launcher. There's a radar unit there next to it, don't worry about that. Kill the launcher. Once you take out the launcher, the SA-6, now like I said, if you're above 27, 28,000 feet, he won't bother you. Start getting around the 24, 25,000 feet, he'll give you trouble. Then you'll start using fuel, you'll start ducking and diving and forget about it. Just take him out with that, it's a Jace Hour. Um, AGM 154C, the beautiful bunker busting uh, brooch warhead there for that one. Okay, so after you kill the SA-6, go to the very other end of the space and take out this building here. This is a fortified outpost building. Take down that. Now, as soon as you destroy that building, a MiG-29A will spawn on this runway and he will take off this end, he'll take off at the southern end of the runway and he will bank out to the right. You will be in this area here, okay? So you will be around this area. I want you to turn around, come back, splash him. Now once you kill the, uh, the MiG-29, then I will suggest taking out the trucks, okay? Now the trucks, there are two trucks in a column of five, all right? Now they will, re they will leave the road outpost as soon as you take out the SAM. Okay, so they'll depart the road outpost right here. Now they are heading for Anapa. Now they get there in about 35 minutes time, but don't worry, it, you, you'll take them out way, but once you kill those targets I've already mentioned, they'll be around this vicinity. They'll be at the bridge, which is your waypoint four. Now use the bridge as a nice reference point to find these targets, okay, to find the, the trucks. I suggest if everything goes cool to plan, the trucks will be around, probably around here. All right, let's 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 go back to the trucks. All right, so as I said, they'll be in a column of five. You only have to take out the two trucks. The trucks will be second from the front and second from the rear. Okay, now while we're here, have a look at this. This is the road outpost they depart from. Okay, now this is also on your hit list. You must uh, destroy this road outpost. Okay, so once you kill the... Um, uh, you start by killing the flanker, then the SAM, then the fortified outpost at the other end of the at the opposite end of the air force base at Anapa. Then you kill the MiG-29. Then take out the two trucks. I would suggest taking out this road outpost. Okay. Then move on to waypoint four. The road outpo outpost is at your waypoint three. Come over here to waypoint four and take down the bridge. That is your last target. Well, the way I play the mission, that is my last target. Okay. And a good a good tip for you. When you're engaged, when you're lining up this bridge, come in this direction, okay? Run along the bridge, because that way when you release your uh, SAO, J -SAO missile, you will, you've got more chance of hitting. Okay, that's all your targets. Let's go to the briefing. Now, first things first, as I said, well, we've done all this, so you depart, it's going to die. Waypoint two, engage the, the flanker here, and waypoint three, the outpost there. But after you engage, uh, the SU-33, go straight to waypoint 5. Kill the SAM, um, destroy the outpost, and then kill the MiG, which departs, then move on to your out road out roadside outpost, and then take down your bridge, and then come back home and, and safely land and park. Beautiful, all done. If you need to rearm or refuel, this is so the southern end, okay? So come in, land here, trundle straight past this area, and 
a land uh, sorry park in here okay uh, when you finish the mission a taxi back to this location the same place you started from all right all right let's go to what I believe is the optimum hit list order flanker Sam fortified outpost at the, at the opposite end of the Air Force Base the Sam MiG 29A which will depart that base the, the two trucks in the column roadside outpost and last of all the bridge okay that's just what I think is the best optimum order okay and these are your targets a flanker okay the launcher there's the launcher there okay, and here's the fortified outpost is at the opposite end of the air force base waypoint five and up there's the mig he will depart the base as i mentioned and there's your trucks second from the front second from the rear two trucks don't worry about anything else you don't have to kill any other armor target in this column okay just the two trucks all right uh the outpost waypoint three last of all the bridge okay and that'll be at waypoint four now DCS just released, as you know, a couple of weeks ago, uh, or a week ago, I don't know when, not that long ago, the, uh, the update before last, the beautiful waypoint targeting designator feature, really nice for your TGP. And this is really cool for picking up waypoint 4 and waypoint 3, okay? And I'll show you how to do that. Very easy, and it's fantastic. You probably know how to do it anyway. All right, um, last, oh, there, of course, here's your mission loadout. Okay, so we've got AM9s on each wing tip. You've got the beautiful the brooch warhead there with the AGM uh, 154C, two on each pile on there. The infrared guided AGM 65F for the trucks, you would use them. And you've got the AIM, the beautiful AMRAM, uh, uh, two of those. And of course, the magnificent uh, lightning pod in the middle to help you scope out your targets. Okay, that's about it. And um, let's get started. <laughs> Start up without the fire test. Battery on. APU start. O box on. Strap sleeve aboard. Left control C. Close the canopy. All right. Green light. Beautiful. Right engine crank. Until this gets to 25, and I'm going to go right shift home. And I'm going to hold it till it gets to 35. Oh, look at that big transporter, C-17. How the hell does he take off? Look at that thing. Oh. All right. Left EDI, two right clicks. Same for the right EDI. HUD, three quarters. Flight controlled. Flight controlled. AMPCD, full. Okay, let's stop that flashing. Come over here. Flight control systems page. A master caution. Come back over here. We'll go lead air, one, two, three, four. Lead air valve. Left engine crank. While that's cranking up, we stack this page. Once this gets to 25, go right old home. Same again, I'm going to hold it down until it gets to 35. I should finish this startup in under 5 minutes. Okay, that's looking good. Let's have a look here. So, hook bypass to field. Leave the, I'll leave the parking brake engaged for now. Flaps to... Actually, just before I do the flaps, I'm going to clear these little bolts. All these crosses in those boxes up there, let's clear. So we set our flight control system, hit this one. Okay. okay. So let's go flaps to auto. Come over here now, we're going to do the bit. Binary input test, hit this one. 
hold the letter Y on the keyboard, give this a click, you don't have to hold them, it'll do the test. Okay, so I'm case standby attitude control, altitude pressure will be set to 40, sorry, 30, 43. Uh, three. If you're wondering where that reading, that setting is, go to your briefing. It's right down here, 3043. Okay, radar, there's the test finished, beautiful. Radar, I'll tip it now. I'll set that to 240. Okay, 240. Arm our ejector seat. Come back here. There goes the APU shutdown. Alert to standby. Radar to operate. Minus to ground. Come back to our... A and PCD, take the brightness down, bump up the sim, okay, now come up here, this page, hit it again, checklist, that's good, stabilize zero there, so we want that 12, so let's go back with the flaps to half, take off trim, set this one, should get a 12 reading here on our page. Yep, beautiful. So let's go to our engine page now. Sweep back around to your APU. Turn that off. Come back to your APCP. And that's counting down. We'll get the OK any second. There it is. Beautiful. Come back to your INS. Set it to NAV. Back here. Sequential 1. This one. Waypoint 1. White box the waypoint. ALR on, dispenser on, get your pilot back, once round with the stick, forward and back, left rudder, and right rudder, and let's get onto the tower. Enter, it's already tuned for you, comms to channel one, press taxi to runway. Dodge, one, one, request taxi to runway. 3442, good, just under five minutes, that's what we want. Release the parking brake. There we go. Bang on five minutes, beautiful. Oops, a bit quick there. Okay, now while you're trundling down the taxiway, you can set your bingo fuel, why not? Something nice and low, like, I don't know, 4,000. I knew you'd say that. Alright, so line up right in the middle of in the centre of the runway. And I just come to a complete stop. And I just have a quick check around just to make sure I haven't got anything. Andy skid is on. Hold the brakes down, W and the W key. I'm gonna go full afterburner. When this gets to 90, I'll release it. Well, let it go. Hold in the center. It starts to drift, drift a bit. Just give it a little touch with the rudder, but it should hold. And the wheels up. Gear up. Laps up, pulling up. <laughs> okay, let's head for waypoint one. Set a few things up here, so I'll go straight to master arm, air to air. We will go am ram. Who's that down there? Oh yeah. We'll go am ram. Leave that where it is there. Come down here. EW, set to HUD, box the HUD, box sale 47, mode, arm, manual 1, arm, repeat, 3, that's plenty, save that, so it's one of each, one flare, one shaft, intervals in the second, go back, SA page, data link on, IFF, comms 2, channel 2, for our AWACS, Bump this out to 80. Oh, there's our target already. Look at that. Beautiful. So this one here, this is your um, tank. Sorry, your AWACS. And this guy here is your tanker. So 
this obviously, that's your flanker. That's our first target. So let's lock him up. Okay, we'll lock that guy up. 21,000. And we'll go for waypoint 2. Here we go. We should get a launch queue now. There you go. Shoot queue, sorry. Just keep waiting. Just wait. Let this figure get to about 16 or 15. 16 or 17. I'm going to wait till it gets to 15. 20, 19, 18, 16, and box 3. Now you're going to lock me up any second. Beautiful. Alright, let's climb. Let's climb a few thousand, I think about 28 or 29,000 feet. And let's set waypoint 5 down. Is that his Anna Park? That's where our next two targets are. So we have the SA 6 launcher, the Cub launcher, and the fortified outpost at the opposite end of the of the airfield. Okay. So we'll level out, quickly set up our JSAO, so go air to ground, JSAO, two mode, E fuse, instant, JSAO display, mission. Now come over here, get rid of your pilot for a sec. Get your fleur on, get your fleur on baby. Get your pilot back. Now watch this one. Go Fleur. And we're going to use the funky new weapon, sorry, the waypoint targeting designator. Waypoint designator. Come over here, HSC. HS. HS. I just said HSC. <laughs> I, I never finished my HSC. HSI. Boom. Do that. Yeah, watch this. When I hit this one, boom. Look at that. Straight on waypoint 5. That's pretty sexy, man. All right. Zoom in. Pick up the launcher. Let's go narrow view. Point track. Okay, zoom in. Come back over this side. There we are, in between the outer outer range and the inner range. Come back over here. Back to stores. Chase our display. Back to your mission. Now goes to TDC depress. Boom, coordinates. And launch we're in the zone look at that right between the two rings perfect launch your first JSAT all right now zoom out and slew straight to the opposite end of the um, airfield and pick up this fortified outpost right here right next to the silo see the silo this building here same again TDC depress come over here press this two mode get the two mode move it around a bit if you want just to make sure TDC depress and launch. Beautiful. All right. Now what I want you to do is unbox this target here and go box the waypoint. All right. Because you want to keep that waypoint in your heading tape because we want to go air to air, AMRAM, and then go to say 10 miles range of your ACM now. Because when you kill the Fortified, when the fortified outpost gets blown up, this one, for this JSAO, the MiG will spawn, MiG-29A will spawn on the runway. I don't know who's going who's gonna to cop it first. Uh, the, the launcher will cop it first. So as soon as the outpost is killed, the plane will spawn on the runway and depart at the coastal end. So here we go, the launcher's gone. <laughs> and the outpost... Oh yeah, beautiful. And the MIG, there he is, there's the MIG. So, come back round. Five point five. Now you want to head to the coastal end. While well, you're virtually right on top of it. He might not even be airborne yet. <laughs> Oh man, there he is, he's on the ground, 
That's him. Damn, we're too close. Altitude. Altitude. <laughs> there he goes. He's airborne. Dodge one one. Overlord one one. Pop up group. View the zero four four one. At five hundred. Hold. There he is. Box three. Too close? Or am I? Bushka. Oh. God. There's the MIG down there, look. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, yeah, so aim for the coastal end of the runway as soon as you destroy that outpost. All right, let's climb. And while we're climbing, we will set up our air to ground maverick. We want to take out these trucks, okay, in the column. They're on the move. Remember, this is basically the main part of the mission. You must destroy the trucks before they reach Anapa. Alright. And we will go Fleur now. So come here. Fleur. Make this your sensor. Zoom out. Take the wide view. And, we have to, and this time we will go waypoint 4. That's the bridge. And we'll use the beautiful uh, designator for that to find waypoint 4. So let's climb. Try and climb. While we're climbing, the Maverick's timing down for us. So there you go, just a little over two minutes and the Mav will be ready. Now there are two trucks in the column and you only get two Mavericks. But if you do miss one, you can use your guns because they're, they're very soft targets. Okay, so let's go. Waypoint designator, you can use this down here. Oh, look at that, the map's timed up perfectly. Let's go hit that, and if nothing happens, just go undesignate, hit your undesignate button, and hit it again, this one. Cool, look at that. Hello. And, oh. <laughs> oh, bonus, here they come. CCD, point track, narrow view. Pick up this, pick up the truck. Zoom in. Oh, why have they stopped? No, they're not. Okay, 11 miles away. This is good. All right, throttle back to idle. Point the nose down in the direction of the of your target. The diamond will tell you the diamond in the HUD. That's the target you've just de designated with your TDC. Sorry, I forgot to say that. TDC depress. There's the diamond, and that's him. Okay, set your... I'm going to set my um, attitude hold. Make this my sensor. Put the diamond here. FOV. Sorry, undesignate button. FOV. I mean, get your nose in there. Point. Put the crosshairs over. There. Got him. And rifle. Beautiful. Now Slu might be able to pick up the second guy. Save yourself a lot of trouble. I can see it. FOV. <laughs> and that was the, that was the second the guy second from the front. Here's the here's the second last guy. Can we get two? And rifle. Got him. Got both of them. There's one. This is the first, this is our first one we released. Yes. And the second one. Any second now, the second one should come in. Yeah. Beautiful. We got lucky there. But like I say, when you nail the first target with your... I shall get it out of here because... hanging around on low altitudes because there's a lot of there's still a lot of triple a down there all right so what i'm saying was when you nail the first target give it a couple of seconds before the, to the smoke clears for the tgp uh, sorry for the maverick seeker and then have a look and slew around and you you pick up the second target it'll save you making another pass you know what i mean all right so that that was pretty good 
we were lucky there with the with the column. They're just getting over the bridge. All right, so let's climb now, and we have two targets remaining and two JSOWs. Now these targets you can only destroy with a JSOW. Okay, one of them is the um, outpost, the roadside outpost where the trucks departed from, and the other is the bridge. You can only kill them with the uh, AGM 154C. Nothing else will do it. Alrighty. Sorry, well, nothing else on board that you have will do it. So be mindful of that. Just, just remember, take it easy, and and plan out your your attack for these for these targets. Go waypoint three, because that is our roadside outpost. Alrighty, alrighty. So let's go waypoint three. We'll go waypoint designator. Hit this one, and nothing. So hit your can designate button and hit this one again. Oh, look at that. Oh, straight on it. Man, that's awesome. Cool. Zoom in. Point track. TDC deep press. Coordinate set. And launch. Beautiful. So next target is waypoint four. Designator. Didn't pick it up. Let's see how this chase has going. Okay, this is the the roadside outpost. Let's come around, zoom back out. There's the bridge. Look at that. Beautiful. Now you want to hit this by coming in this way. Okay, along the bridge, okay? Very important. You're down to your last JSAO, and it's the only weapon that will take this bridge down. So just watch that. Okay, let's see this guy going in. It looks good. Beautiful. All right. And here we are. This is what I mean. I must have, had, I must have gone over it. I think I have... I think, I think I flew over it. I'm fighting with this stick because I'm, if you have a look, see, I'm, look, <laughs> I'm side heavy with this, with this jace out. So all you gotta do to fix that problem is just trim to, trim to the opposite, trim the wing to the opposite direction that you are put your counterweight and that'll steady your, air, your aircraft, okay? Bingo. That's all right, 4,000 pounds, that's plenty. All right, let's have a look now. No. Let's go unbox the target. Box the waypoint. Hit the waypoint designate button. There we go. Alright, this is good. I want to come out and then back in. Try and get a nice target so we're along. You can line it up. See that? Just coming around nicely now. When the bridge is running straight up and down in your TGP on your screen there, launch. And I think this is just, this is pretty good. All right, let's TDC depress, make sure of our coordinates and launch. I think that was okay. Well, it's looking good. I think. And the tr two trucks down there are still smoldering. <laughs> still burning. Zoom out a bit. Come on, come on, come on. And yes. Winner! Ha <laughs> ha! Winner! <laughs> yeah, you only get that when you when you kill all the targets. All right, now all you have to do is um, head back to Galenz and park in your designated spot, exactly where you started from. Then you've got then the mission is mission is complete, or mission success. Master arm to save. Sorry, master uh, arm to save. 
of um, altimeter to radar. Okay, we can turn our FLIR off. ALR off, we don't need that anymore. Oops, off. Dispenser off, we don't need that. And we'll get on to ATC, the Lensk ATC. Inbound. Kalinsk, Dodge 1-1, one, one. inbound. Okay, cool. The lens is down there somewhere. No, it's not that one. It's it's that one. Pretty sure. Okay. The waypoint eight. Yeah, that's Collins. All right. So let's get ready. Let's get set up. Lights on. Start to slow down now. Right there. Okay. Okay. When I get to 250, I'm going to lower the landing gear. So I want to get that runway right in the middle of my velocity vector. Lower that runway right there. Nice and easy. 250. Oh, wow, way too high. Jeez, we are very high. Air brakes. Take some speed off while I while I descend. Now, with the velocity vector in the E bracket, I want to get a nice angle of attack. So that's eight. Well, the best, well, the angle of attack is eight point one. There is a range, but sometimes the the angle of attack doesn't always stay there. It disappears. That's cool. If that happens, I will. I'll go left control Y. You get my info bar. Is that my, my landing, I'm only just started to to perfect my landing. So I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I, I need all the help I can get, trust me. When I get to 250, I'm going to lower the gear. Okay. Lower the gear now. Landing taxi lights on, landing lights on. Okay, there's my blood acid vector. I'm going to trim up, because I know I need to trim up even before I start. Laps. Laps any second now. Trimming up a bit. Laps now, laps are down, adding power now. I want to get the E bracket, the velocity vector to marry, to marry up together. And I want to get them over the runway. All right, got to the tower, Just landing. Dodge, one, one, request landing. Angle of attack is wrong, it's 5.5, I need 8.1. That's getting better, 6.8. See how it disappears? Pain in the ass. Add more power. I'm going to go control Y. I want to see my velocity. I want to see my angle of attack. There it is, 7.9. Nearly. Two more nudges with the trimming switch towards me. Sorry, the... Yeah, well, it is a switch. Now it's 8.4, so I'm going to trim down just a little bit. Trim down a bit more. More power. Now trim up. Less power. The velocity vector and the E bracket when they rise above your above your runway, ease off on the power. I'm just using the stick to for the roll, that's all. Don't panic. Ease up on the power. Let it come back to the runway. Adding power now. 
adding power, trim down, add power, add power, angle of attack's too high. Adding power, adding power, adding power, easing off, easing off, easing off. Okay, that's good angle of attack now. Adding power, ease off, just correcting my trajectory, adding power, adding power. <laughs> it's like the Eddie refuel, it's yeah, adding increments of power, easing off. Get rid of the info bar now. Oh. Add power. Add power. Ease off. Ease off. Add more power. Ease off. Ease off. Ease off. Add power. Add power. Ease off now. Bit heavy, it was alright. Pull back on the stick, forward with the throttle, and back. Bingo. Air brakes on. I did the forward and throttle back thing to negate the flight idle. I got the wheel brakes on now, W key, the stick is back to normal. And I can stow the air brake now. <laughs> I thought the info bar was off. Gee, I did all that for nothing. I nearly crashed because of it. <laughs> you gotta hit control, left control Y twice. Slow down. Okay, flaps back to auto. That's how you do it. Small increments of of power, adding power and reducing power. And that's basically how you do it. Once you find that angle of attack, you just keep the velocity vector and the E bracket over the runway. All to do now is taxi to the parking spot but what I said before about the throttle when you go forward and back with the Bingo. throttle Bingo. it negates the flight idle you can see if I, I can stop now see I can stop come to a full stop not not hands off the brake but if the flight idle was still engaged this aircraft would be taking Bingo. off like like crazy, you know, and it, it's freaked me out. And um, my good friend and brains trust, Gerasimov, he said, Gaz, you know, the, the Hornet's got a flight idle as well as, as, well as a weight, um, ground weight idle. So there's kind of two, two idles there. And I go, what, what the hell? What, what are you talking about? And he said, look, he said, push the throttle forward and back and you will, it'll set it back to, um, normal on weight ground idle. Like, hey, there's our trigger. <laughs> boom, boom. Mission complete. Hey, okay, so that is, um, that is Anapa or bust completed. And that's, that's basically how you do it. Okay, cats, and this is back to roughly where we started from. So that's how you do it. If you need to rearm or refuel this mission, go past this area, don't park here, and go go down there. And there's another parking bay, a parking area there where you can rearm and refuel down there, okay? But that's all in the briefing. Alrighty, I'll just, just straighten up this, because I'm very anal. Fuel, no. Fuel, no. <laughs> and what I like doing is, Chief, place the wheel chocks. Copy. <laughs> wheel chocks are now in place. I love that. Okay. There they are, they're the wheel chocks. That's so cool. Alright, that's it from me. I'm going to shut this baby down. Um, and that's, that's about it. Alt end, shift end. <laughs> Easy way to shut it down. Okay, and um, thanks a lot for hanging around. It was good fun. It's a good little mission. Grab this one. You'll find it in the downloads user file section. And um, I'm out. That's it.
so uh, stay safe, be kind to each other, and, ple and yes, please stay safe in this uh, crazy times at the moment with this uh, insane COVID-19 uh, BS, so please, well it's not BS, it's, it's very real and it's very dangerous, so please wash those hands, stay safe, alright, because we want to see you flying uh, these missions, alright. Okay, see you again soon, take care, bye for now. Oh, I got him. That's pretty spectacular. Got me. You're an asshole. Screwed this big time. Flaps up, gear up. Good gear, good gear.